Come back, we're going to talk about the Novasight flashlight, lantern. Well, we'll talk about what it really is. What's going on everybody? This is Patrick, Mid-10 Outdoors. How's my outdoor crew doing? How's it going? Hope you're doing well. So, this little light of mine, hey, like that, this little light of mine is by Novasight. Or Novasight. However you want to say it. Um, actually, it's two pieces. I'll take the globe off. This comes with the globe and it comes with the light itself. Let's talk about the light itself real quick. It's a type LED magnetic camp light. This base right here is magnetic. It also has a clip right there. It also has a quarter 20 screw right here that you could put on like a tripod or something of that nature. Thought that was kind of cool. Rotatable square light. So when I say rotatable, like here's your mounting and you can do that right there with it. So it's a 180 degree angle rotation. Material, it's all aluminum. It is metal. It's not plastic. It's a metal light. Okay? Metal. Made out of aluminum. Um, color of it's black. See that right there? Don't need any help understanding that's a black light. Black and gray. Um, Light color. Now that's where it gets kind of interesting real quick. It does yellow and white light. So I'm going to turn it on briefly. We'll do more testing with it outside. That's your yellow setting. And that's your pure white. It also has, let me find the button for it, red light. Red light setting. Um... Your color temperatures are from 27, excuse me, 100K to 4,500 K with a combination of white and yellow 6,500 K. So you turn this one on, you turn this one on, well, you start really amping it up. And I'm sure my camera is having a fun time trying to adjust the lighting. Um, later we'll go out when it gets dark and we'll take a look at it in the dark uh, lumens up to 1500 lumens weight 0.58 kilograms where I think I saw is a little over a pound or so so it's not a backpacking light by no means uh, requires no does not require batteries already got one built into it capacity on this battery is 13,500 milliamps the battery life Depends on how you run the bat the light goes from 5.5 hours to 39 hours. Now I would imagine your 39 would be on the red light. They don't say, they just say you could. Um, battery uh, battery life very dead. Waterproofness, it is waterproof level IPX5. Now there is one plug on this when I say plug one rubber plug which is right here uh, you can see that you have a USB and you have a USB-C so you could charge a phone off of that I, I would never charge a phone off of it I would just use it for its own power um, and of course you get the globe that goes on it this is plastic um, let's let me show you how it diffuses the light which is really nice I am stirring up bugs in this <laughs> in the house but anyway um, I can't wait to use this camping this year uh, part put it in the truck this winter and keep it in the truck you do get a battery indicator right here on the back now I'll say this I got this thing out of the box I ain't charged it yet I have yet to charge this light and she's full of course, I haven't run it very long either. But uh, when it gets dark, we'll go outside and we'll fire this thing up and take a look at it at night. 
see how much light it's really putting it on the ground. I have some ideas on how I would run this um, camping the way I camp. So we'll go outside and talk about it real quick. Okay, let's start off with the white light and it's hanging off the side of my pickup truck right now. This is more likely how I'm gonna run it. Now, let's get a good idea of the throw of the light. And now we're gonna do full, you can see how much light we're getting off the light itself. That's throwing off a lot. Move the camera up just a foot or so. There we go. And we'll crank it on up. And you see you're getting a lot of light. And this is the white light. So now I'm going to throw the yellow in with it. Which you can do and get the maximum output. And you can see how far out on the street that is actually throwing that light. So now I'm going to back it off from the white to just the yellow full blast. And that's the yellow. And we're probably casting light. Well, let me fix this a little bit. Okay, so you see the truck here. If you look, it's casting light as far as over there. So, I mean, it's it. This will light up a campsite. If you had it on a good, steady tripod, it would do the same. So let's start turning that down. And honestly, around a camp situation, that that's plenty of light right there. Now, let's take a look at the red light. I can find the button. It's darker out than you think it is. Let me find that button. There's the red light. And it would help the red light if this is not on. Now I'll show you what it's like without the shade on here in a second too. Okay, there's the red light. And like I said, the cool thing is you can crank that out. And I mean, you're talking three or four feet out from the truck, which is pretty good. Now let's turn it on without the shade. And you see what you get then. You get a really bright light. It's not diffused. So we'll crank on the white. And you see how it good even tone. And it's still, it's still casting light all the way over there, really. That's probably 15 feet away. So and then you can also crank the light up more if you need to. And I'm literally let's see if I can do this. Without the shade, I am throwing shade on everybody's houses over here. <laughs> that's pretty bright. Um, and that's cut the yellow completely off and just go straight to white. That's what you got there. And then you can turn the white down. And I mean, that's still, that's at the bottom. And personally, you know, at camp at night, around a campfire if you needed a light at the you know your vehicle or whatever that's that would be perfect that would be absolutely perfect but like i said the shade i'll step around the camera here and show you the shade just adds diffused light to it instead of it being now i may have to flip it up to find the So let's take a look at something else here. Hang on. So the reason why I said this is probably gonna stay in the truck, if you had to do any kind of maintenance or some kind of repair on that wheel and that tire, well, this would be ideal. I mean, you'd be able to see to work on that wheel and tire up under there or that rear end if you had to. Or let's step around, let me, throw this light somewhere else so you can throw it on the cab you know there's there's so many options you could do with this light um, 
but my main option I think is going to be to put it on the side of the truck just to light up the you know your area like it's doing right now um, I just <laughs> and it's a tough light I mean this thing you see how much light it's throwing off on the truck let's take the shade back off now that throws a more solid light could you use that maybe um, for some other options or other things you probably could uh, if you come up with some ideas let me know um, but I mean and even if I had this on a tripod even um, wow I mean think of the possibilities with on it on a tripod I mean look look what I'm lighting up here let me see if I can let me try to raise you up one-handed oh no she's a little tight forgive me there we go but look how much light I'm putting out right here even with the yellow so pretty cool all right guys I hope you enjoyed it uh, if you like the Nova Sight light and want to pick one up but I think you're getting something worthwhile because like I said the the metal construction of the housing itself is gonna make this thing pretty tough I would think the only thing you might could break pretty easily or might take a little bit to break but you could break is the globe itself uh, but I think if I'm not mistaken you can go on Nova Sight's website and order a new globe if you do break your globe I do like how it screws into the threads on the light kind of like a filter on the camera lens but anyway uh, I hope you enjoyed this video got something out of it if you want to buy one I'm gonna leave a link down below you do not get charged anymore if you buy one off of my link um, it just kind of helps me out and I appreciate that I really do you, you don't know how much I really appreciate it anyway be prepared we'll see you on the next one